So here we're talking about binomial distribution again, this time the expected value, the variance, and the standard deviation. And we're going to do my favorite uh, example of binomial distribution again. So I have my friend here walking underneath the tree, and a bird is going to poop on his head 30% of the time. So there's a 30% chance that he gets pooped on. Uh, he's going to make 20 trips underneath this tree. Um, and the question, a few questions here, but one of the questions is, how often would he expect to get pooped on? Now, if he was the world's most unlucky man, he would get pooped on 20 times. If he was quite lucky, he would get pooped on zero times. But, um, there's, but there's, something, there's an amount of times that you would expect to get pooped on if this bird is pooping 30% of the time. And we can do expected value to figure that out. I can summarize that question just with this line here. Um, the random variable x follows a binomial distribution where there are 20 trials and the probability of success, poop on your head, is 0 0.3. Okay, so now we're going to do the expected value and we use a formula for that. It's really straightforward. The expected value for the random variable x is equal to np. N, the number of trials, P, the number of successes. That's it. That's totally, that's all you need to do. 20 times uh, 0 0.3. Uh, that should be 6. So, you would expect to get pooped on 6 times if you walked under that tree 20 times. That's expected value. This is the important formula. Very straightforward. So, that's expected value you looked after. Uh, now we need to look at variance. Now variance is a measure of spread. If you had um, 20, oh, let's choose a different number. If you had 50 people make 20 trips underneath this tree, um, some of them would get pooped on exactly six times. Some of them would get pooped on 10 times. Some of them would get pooped on two times. Um, now, how spread out is that data going to be? Variance is a measure of that spread. How spread out the data. So the formula for variance, that's going to be it's pretty straightforward as well. We write VARX NPQ. So quite similar to our previous formula, but now we've got uh, three things to take care of. So N, there were 20 trials. Uh, P, number of successes. Zero, oh, sorry, probability of success. And Q, the probability of failure, which, because it's a binomial distribution, is the complement of 0 0.3, which is 0 0.7. All right, put that in your calculator, you've got the variance. And our answer there is 4.2. Now, I'm not going to interpret variance, because variance is kind of a bit useless when it comes to interpreting spread. But what is useful is standard deviation. So, what's the formula for standard deviation? Well, we're going to use the letter SD, standard deviation. And the formula for the standard deviation of the variable x is n, p, q, square root. Now, I already know that uh, what n, p, q are. It's 20 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.7, and then it's the square root of that. So, standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So, square root of 4.2, um, and then that's going to be a number. And so the standard deviation for this is uh, 2.05. Now, I can interpret standard deviation. Uh, we're going to do this much more in a, in a future video. But um, 